Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we want to talk about signal wire connector. In the previous video in part 7, uh, we have learned how to connect our free switch to a tr trunk provider that we use signal wire as our uh, SIP trunk provider. Uh, we created a SIP endpoint and we registered uh, our free switch in the SIP endpoint in the signal wire. Today we want to do the same thing uh, using a better method I can say is a simpler method that is the signal wire connector. Of course this method will just work for the signal wire uh, and if you want to connect to any other SIP trunk provider you need to use the method that I used in the part 7 actually how to add a SIP trunk in free switch that I have uh, released uh, before this video. So what is the uh, signal wire if you if this is the first video that you are watching uh, I suggest you watch the series from the first one because this is a, a complete series of the free switch training and my examples are based on the previous videos in the previous video uh, we have learned that signal wire is a, a SIP trunk provider of course it provides other services as well it's not just SIP trunk they have their own APIs that uh, it is based on the free switch uh, here we want to connect our free switch system uh, to the uh, a trunk provider signal wire so that we are able to call a number. It can be a, a fixed line or it can be a mobile number. In order to do that, we can use a mode mode signal wire. How to install it? It's very easy. You can use apt install free switch mode signal wire. Of course, if you have installed the um, package using apt-get recently in uh, latest Debian it's already installed and you don't need to reinstall it but uh, to be sure you can just run this command then you need to load the mode signal wire the uh, modules are in etc free switch auto load underline configs modules.conf so you need to open modules.conf.xml and ensure that the load module mode signal wire is loaded. It is loaded by default, but uh, just to ensure, check the file and also run fscli and run the command load mode signal wire so that uh, you can see it's loaded. Of course, if it is already loaded, it will tell you that the module uh, is already loaded, but it's good to check once. Step three is to uh, configure the signalware.conf.xml this uh, configuration file is to override actually the default context so if, when we are using signal wire connector it will automatically connect to the signal wire that you will see in the next uh, slides and for incoming calls by default it will send to the default context if you want to override that for example here I want to override my incoming uh, context to from signal wire connector because I don't send all the incomings from all trunks to just default uh, dial plan I want to send them to from signal wire connector context so I need to create this file in the autoloads.conf autoloads underline configs I need to create this file and uh, you can copy this information it is in the github link that I provided in the description of the video if you want the full configuration and just uncomment this uh, part and uh, set the context that you want to receive incoming calls. And next part is you need to get the signal wire connection token. In order to do that, you need to run FSCLI and uh, run signal wire token. It will give you a token that you will use uh, when you are connecting your signal wire trunk to your free switch. Um, Next step is to log in to the uh, signal wire console by a phone number. You should have at least one phone number to make calls or receive calls. And you can click on the new and buy a number. It's very easy. You just need to uh, charge your account and buy a number. Then you need to go to integrations, click new, select free switch connector and then give it a name for example here I gave it the name signal wire one give it something meaningful for yourself because I have multiple signal wire trunk uh, to my system so I just name it signal wire one 
and then the connection token. The connection token is the one that we get in the FSCLI by signal wire token command in the previous slide. So you just put the uh, token here, give it a name, and then you will say what color I did use. So this is the uh, number that I bought in the previous step. So I can just type it here, or uh, the same for the send as. When actually you type it, it will automatically bring for you, and you can select it and save it. And step seven is route DID to the connector. So you need to go back to the phone numbers and click on your uh, phone number and click settings, edit settings. And this is for incoming calls. So when a call is receiving, you need to set that I want to receive as voice calls, not as fax. And then I want to send it to a free switch connector and you put the connector name here. If you remember in the previous video, when we wanted to send uh, calls to our trunk, we selected here as SIP endpoints because that was another type of registration. Here, for incoming calls, we want to send to the connector, so you, you select your connector and the name of the connector that you have used. A step eight is actually to uh, reload the signal wire after you have uh, configured the signal wire in the previous step. You need to go back to your free switch, run FSCLI, and uh, run signal wire reload. And to, in order to see if the gateway is registered or not, that's it. Actually, that's already configured everything. You can run SOFIA status, and you can see the signal wire trunk is already up and registered. So it's much more easier than put a lot of configurations. Actually, in the uh, gateway, C profiles, uh, find the, uh, put to the ACL, if you remember, in the previous video. So you just uh, need to put your token in the uh, signal wire website and then the trunk is all registered. You need to take note that the signal wire name is using by default here. So don't use signal wire uh, trunk name for the other trunk. So if you, if you already use that name, just change to something else. Signal wire 2, I don't know, free switch or whatever. So this is the, the name is important uh, that you don't have a, a gateway already with the name of signal wire. And step nine is to just uh, write dial plans for outgoing calls. For example, here I put an extension name, a field destination number. If it, I put exact match to my mobile number. So if it wants to uh, call my mobile number, uh, it will bridge the channel to the Sofia gateway signal wire. This is the trunk that is all registered via the uh, free switch connector, the signal wire connector, and then it will pass a plus as a prefix and then dollar one dollar one is what you see here uh, in the parentheses so it will just add a plus and it will pass the number uh, to the PSN to the signal wire this is for outgoing call and for incoming call as I have told you we have changed the context to uh, from signal wire connector and here I for example set just some simple uh, applications I give it a name then I said if the destination number is my a DID number, this is the number that I have bought in the uh, signal wire and I wrote the incoming calls to them. Log, this is a call from signal wire connector, this is just for our uh, information, answer the call, uh, wait, sleep one second and then play back a file. So you can do whatever you want, you can bridge a connection or uh, any other application that you want to run. Don't forget to reload XML and that's for the incoming call. So. Uh, the trunk is always registered for incoming and outgoing call. Let's do a test here in our system. So let's test first for uh, see if the gateway is registered or not. We can use the SOFIA status. As you can see, signal wire is already uh, registered. And uh, actually, we can be in the console and try to call the number. Uh, let's set to log 6 to see less logs. As you can see, it's calling using the signal wire. And if I answer, 1, 2, 3, 4, I have the call. Also for incoming call, I, if I call the number,
using my mobile. It's already connected. So what it has done, uh, from my mobile number, I called the number in the signal word that I bought and I registered uh, as a connector. As you can see, it sends to the context from signal wire connector. This is the context that you have configured in our auto load config signal wire that uh, that XML. Uh, so it's transferring actually to this context, to this number. And of course, I have uh, did a a uh, log call from this number from signal wire connector. This is the log application that I have used. And it is sleep and then it played a file. So that's the testing of the uh, incoming and outgoing using the free switch or signal wire connected in the free switch. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments uh, or any question, please put in the YouTube comments. Also the and link of the configuration files in my it is in my github that you can see in the description of the video thank you and goodbye